set for a Big 12 matchup between the Cornhuskers of Nebraska and the Cyclones of Iowa State. Both of these teams at three and five in Big 12 play, both trying to get into that upper echelon. Hi, everybody. Dave Armstrong along with Gary Thompson. And Gary, these two teams sort of heading in opposite directions. Nebraska's lost five of six conference games. And of course, the Cyclones have won three in a row, including a stunner in overtime at Texas. The monkey is off their back. The 500-pound gorilla is off their back. And that's big, Dave. And particularly uh, winning on the road against Kansas, I mean, against Texas, a ranked team. Now you come, the next game is on the road at Lincoln, Nebraska here tonight. So it gives them a lot of confidence. And these kids in practice, as I watched them, are all hopped up and they're ready to go. And as they ran by our benches right here, they said, it's game time, guys. It's game time. It's so you know what it time. meant to them. Absolutely. Wayne Morgan said it best in talking about Tashid Carr. A star is born. And boy, was it ever. Well, the young prince has finally found his offensive rhythm. He's averaged 12 points a game over the last four games and 23 minutes a game playing time, but he had 22, a career high against Texas, including five of eight from the three-point line. He's been struggling, but he's got it on track right now. All year long, we've been saying, who's going to step up for the Cyclones? We're hoping one guy would. All of a sudden, three guys have for Iowa State. We've got Rashawn Clark, Tashid Carr, and this guy, Damian Staple, the senior, stepping up for the Cyclones. Will it be enough to stop the Huskers here tonight? What am I? Am I a basketball player who's a psychology major? Or am I a psychology major who's a basketball player? You know, that's the thing about psychology. You tend to overanalyze everything. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. In 1876, my great-great-grandfather, Adolphus Bush, started brewing a handcrafted beer right here in St. Louis called Budweiser. And that recipe of ingredients is the same today as it was when it was founded over 125 years ago. I think tradition is a very, very important thing because there are certain values uh, like quality and integrity that really should never change. Budweiser started as a great beer and it's still that same great beer today. Stop on in, you got what you need. Stop on in, you're on the run. Casey's General Store has your gas, your drinks, and homemade food. Everything it takes to get it done. Right now, pick up any large made-from-scratch specialty pizza for $9.99 or a medium for $8.99. Your convenience store and a whole lot more. Yeah, there's so much more. Stop on in to Casey's General Store. Look who finally decided to take a break from his new computer. Hey, how exactly am I supposed to show off my amazing European-inspired suspension if I'm just sitting here? You know, I'm hoping that you're up there downloading maps so we can go somewhere cool when you're better. And may I just remind you, my friend, that were it not for me, you would not have that new Dell computer. Ford Focus. It begs to be driven. Get into any Ford Focus with 2,000 cash back and get a Dell Dimension PC with a flat panel monitor and all-in-one printer at no extra charge. Only at your local Ford store. Cyclone basketball on ESPN Plus is brought to you by FS Seeds. In a win or lose business like farming, pick win. FS Seed Corn and FS High Soy Soybeans by High V. Cheer for your team in the High V Cyhawk Series, presented by Coca Cola and Kraft Foods. By Budweiser, grab a fresh cold Budweiser. It's game time. By Dodge, grab life by the horns. By CarQuest Auto Parts and the 4,000 CarQuest Auto Parts stores across North America. You'll find it at CarQuest. By Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield of Iowa. An independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. The difference is blue. By the electrical workers of Local 347 for a job done right on time and on budget. And by Liberty Herbicide. Make the most of every acre. 
One thing you know, when Iowa State and Nebraska hook up at the Bob Devaney Center in Lincoln, Nebraska, you know it is going to be close. The last six years here in Lincoln, these games have been decided by an average of two and a half points per game. Let's check out now the option starting lineups for these two clubs and the Cyclones going with their staple lineup of Staple, Clark, Homan, Stinson, and Blaylock. A change for the Huskers. DeRusso is getting the start in the addition, or in the place of, I should say, Marcus Neal. He is joined by Wilkinson, Turek McCray, and Muleheisen. Our key matchup tonight, a freshman of the year last year in the Big 12 Conference and a guy who is making a bid for freshman of the year this year. Joe McCray, although he is slumping of late, scoring only seven points in his last game, he's the leading scorer for the Huskers. And, of course, for Iowa State, it's Curtis Stinson coming off that double-double against Texas where he scored 17 points and had 11 rebounds. We'll be watching those two gentlemen closely here tonight. Who gets the upper hand in that matchup might just win this golf ball game. Well, Stinson's the seventh-ranked scorer in the, the Big 12 Conference, and uh, McCray is the 14th-ranked scorer. And uh, McCray comes off a ball game where he didn't have a really good game against uh, Kansas. Only played, uh, what was it, 19 minutes in that game. So we'll see how he bounces back. We'll see how the Cyclones respond here today after ending that 28-game Big 12 road losing streak that dated back to the 21st of February 2001 by winning in overtime at Texas. We'll see how the Cyclones respond. The Cyclones, of course, in their road red uniforms and Nebraska in their home white. Thrown on the ground, picked up by Turek of the Huskers. Now double team. Blaylock got a hand in there, almost with a steal. It'll stay with Nebraska with 16 to shoot it. Barry Callier is the head coach at Nebraska. His fifth year guiding the Huskers. He's got 66 wins with Nebraska. And for Iowa State, of course, Wayne Morgan resurrecting this program over the last three games at 31 and 22 overall in his second season. Now Nebraska attacks that zone to try to go into the middle. Good collapsing defense there by Iowa State. Cyclones come on the attack for the first time here tonight. Blaylock was checking out to see what Nebraska was in. Uh, they start man for man. Cyclones showing patience offensively. Now Blaylock pulls up for a three and throws up an air ball. He's good, Gary, for at least one air ball a game. It doesn't really mean much, though. No, and so how many times is it that his first shot is an air ball mm -hmm. from out there, it seems like? And then the next one's a swish. Yeah, running the shot clock down. He didn't get his drive. Amazing. So he'll hear the air ball chant here in Lincoln for a while until he can hit one. DeRusso had a great game against Kansas the other day, a loss for the Huskers. And Nebraska losing to Kansas 78-65 in that contest. DeRusso had it blocked by Homan and a whistle and a foul. That's going against Wes Wilkinson of the Huskers. So there's another block shot by Jared Homan, the all-time shot block leader in Iowa State history. In fact, that gives him 210 in his career right now. Mm -hmm. hey, you're going to see DeRusso. He's that type of player, and I guess his own can be effective. He's a slasher. He'll take it in and penetrate the gaps. And thrown away by Clark. McCray tried to get it on a bounce pass to DeRusso. It was kicked out of bounds by Iowa State. And they'll reset the shot clock. There's that left-handed block you like. And who does it? Yes. Some people were talking to me about how he's been able to stay out of foul trouble. And I said one of the reasons is because he's a left-handed shot blocker. And your, your body is coming across to block shots. One of the guys that's coming on strong for the Huskers is the man who just made that three-pointer, Jake Muleheisen, their three-year captain here at Nebraska, coming off a good game against Kansas where he had nine points and eight rebounds. Stinson answers with a running one-hander. Gary, I get the sense that Iowa State, even though they would really like to run, as we look at Muleheisen shooting another three here, even though Iowa State wants to run and wants to get this up-tempo, they're more comfortable now than they were just two weeks ago in a half-court offense. There's no doubt about that. I think that's because they're working their offense, and I think their teamwork has been much better on the half-court offense in these last few ball games, particularly when they've been winning. McCray lucky to get rid of that ball and not have it picked off. 
Good trap by the Cyclones. Now McCray. And Blaylock got a hand on that one. Two on one with Stinson. Muleheisen got in the way, but Stinson acted like he wasn't even there. That's right. Good job of kind of avoiding that. There's Rashawn Clark. We lost him over here. Let's watch this play now. A little foot pass over there, and uh, Stinson just does a nice job of avoiding. Well, so all of a sudden, Iowa State putting some pressure on it and forcing some Husker turnovers. You know, David, these starters in these last few ball games, well, uh, they are averaging in conference play 32 minutes per game, four of them, from 32 on up. So and when you're pressing the full court, these guys got to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, really, it's a six-man rotation for Iowa State. That's about it. In the Texas game, John Neal only played uh, five minutes in that game. McCray backed off probably more than he should have for that rebound. He might have had it if he'd have stayed home. Now Holman. They're out of his range. Now he resets. I like that. Kick it back out and then reset the post. Clark can't hit a long three-point attempt. Here comes Muleheisen on the run. Wilkinson, two-counter, nothing but net. And he's been coming on. Mm -hmm. right now. Been shooting the ball well. Uh, Turek has come on. Uh, Muleheis has come on. <laughs> Probably Iowa State and Wayne Morgan saying, this is the wrong time for these guys to be coming on strong. And that's the same thing Cogger's saying, though. Yeah. It's amazing <laughs> that he's catching teams when they seem to be at their peak. He had to play Texas when they were playing with P.J. Tucker. They, of course, played Kansas twice already. McCray throws in a no look. Now Wilkinson. Nice shot. Wilkinson might be one of the most improved players in the conference. I'm talking to their staff a lot of that just because he beefed up in the summer. He got stronger, has more strength. Right there showing some nice touches, like a half jump, jump hook. Trying to double down on Holman. That's what we said. <laughs> Throws up the air ball, switches the next one. Incredible. Nothing but that. Comes the one, two, two. He should have worked in the artillery. He's just zone in on the second shot. Good for him. I remember how to do that. I was an artillery officer. Oh, yeah. Add, add five zero, fire for effect. <laughs> you get it bracketed. That's a three. Well, they're zoned in now, these guys. Coming into this game, it hit 53, made 53 trays, which was second in the conference. McCray, as we mentioned, only seven points against Kansas. The bigger story, he hardly played in that game. And Clark answers with another three. Threes are wild all of a sudden here in Lincoln. Well, Sean Clark's showing you that he can shoot. He only shoots the good shots from that three-point line. He now uh, eight for 15. Stinson gets his own rebound, got Muleheiser in the air. He wants the basket to count as Wilkinson came in and blocked it. Stinson will go to the line. So Curtis Stinson in this full court pressure is starting to bother Nebraska a little bit. We've got a timeout as Stinson comes right into your living room. The Cyclones and the Huskers both off to a hot start. 10-10 our score at the 14-44 mark. This field was treated with Balance Pro herbicide. It sat there for 15 days without a drop of rain, and the weeds came up again. And then it rained, and Recharge got them like that. We know, because this is our field. Since 1999, Balance Pro has been used successfully on more than 21 million acres. That's the power of Recharge. head-to-head -head competition from friendly in-state rivals. If the thought of a Hawkeye kissing a cyclone is repulsive to you, 
You're our kind of customer. Off campus apparel and novelties. Merle Hay Road next to Hobby Lobby and University Avenue next to Colds. From the minute my son was born, I knew I wanted to be uh, that dad. Uh, the guy who can show you how to throw a perfect spiral. Fixing bikes and skateboard ramps. Going to ball games. My father was that dad, and now I've become that dad. That's why I bought a Saturn. Introducing the seven-passenger 2005 Saturn Relay with the security of OnStar and DVD player standard. The 2005 Saturn Relay, starting at 24, 485 MSRP. Sure, they're in love now, but there's going to be problems. Off-campus apparel and novelties, your headquarters for Hawkeye Cyclone and Panther merchandise on Merle Hay Road next to Hobby Lobby and University Avenue next to Coles. Stinson, 73% from the line so far this year. Missing the first one wide left. Let's go, here we go. The rim. Cyclones, in addition to ending that 28-game Big 12 World losing streak last Saturday in Texas, also ended a 10-game conference overtime losing streak that dated back to 1995. And, of course, 96 was the first year of the Big 12 conference. So that one went back a conference, not just a decade. Cyclones really trying to put some pressure on him. Is that the forced tempo, Gary? Or? Well, I think their, you know, their game is off steals and off turnovers, and that's that's part of their game right now. And they're second in the league uh, in uh, steals per game. Yeah, nice average. lob, oh, nice backside help. Everything about this team that they've been playing, the way they've been playing the last four ball games, is as a team. You know, if Blaylock can keep shooting like that, we'll let him throw an air ball up the first time, right? Gets rid of the cobwebs on that first one. <laughs> Iowa State up to their biggest lead now. Four-point advantage. He put some pressure on Muleheisen out there. He doesn't like pressure. Turret. Nice little left-handed hook up over Holman. See, that kept it away from the left arm of Holman, didn't it, with the left hand? Right. And unusual there, Turek usually gets the ball. He'll go on the dribble, and it hits his hands on the in, uh, low post. He'll dribble, but then he usually comes back off the off the opposite shoulder. That time he takes it to the right, and he hooks it on the right. Stinson, an early three-point attempt. DeRusso, back to Wilkinson. That won't go. Staple, nice rebound. He tipped it up on the board, goes gets it. That's the tip drill. Yeah. Didn't quite have the handle. Now Holman gets around Wilkinson. Good work by Staple. And he is fouled. Wes Wilkinson whistled for the foul. That's his second. You know, Dave, a nice job by Holman right there. When the guy dived and didn't get it, he turned and went right to the basket. And Staple gets ready to shoot a free throw, which hasn't been so good for him. Well, it's kind of an adventure. We'll look at a Budweiser quick stat, three-point shooting. Good for both these teams. That one wasn't exactly pretty, but he got it to go home. He's only a 40% free throw shooter. Wayne Morgan will take it. He doesn't want any style points. No. <laughs> he just wants a point. Doesn't say in the box score how they went down. How about that? Two for two. Staple has really come on in this run, too. Of course, he had his career high uh, at 12 against Texas. They all pissed in in that game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stinson had the double-double. Jared Coleman had 14 points, eight rebounds, six of eight free throws in that game. Good job of staying down defensively. Look at Blaylock rounding Muleheisen. And the ball out of bounds. 14 in the shot clock for Nebraska. They keep the ball. And here comes Saturday's hero, Tashid Carr for Wayne Morgan. Carr, who scored 22 in that game and 13 of those in overtime. In fact, he outscored Texas all by his lonesome in that overtime. McCray, forced to just throw the ball toward the basket and hope. Blaylock finds Stinson, good block by Wilkinson. They've got some size on the inside. Notice their play against Kansas. Uh, they blocked several shots. And Wilkinson and Turk. McCray, three-pointer, yeah. John McCray, who sat all but four minutes in the second half against Kansas, was really upset. 
Only went two for ten in the game, scored seven points. And all seven of those points he scored in the first five minutes of the contest. But McCray, too talented to sit on the bench, a two-time Big 12 Rookie of the Week. Now Clark, well, that was a good-looking shot. Yeah, ran it around. So here comes Nebraska with a chance to regain the lead. But instead, another turnover. That's the fifth for the Huskers. So the Cyclones leading by one. Joe McRae, though, trying to keep it close for the Huskers. His second three-pointer of the contest. Why do so many people confidently choose Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield for their health insurance? With the Blues, our health insurance is easy and hassle-free. Even small businesses like mine have a wide choice of plan designs. Wherever we travel, the Blue Card Network gives us the coverage we need. Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. The difference is blue. Stow-and-go, another minivan first from Dodge. Daddy just had to get a motorcycle, didn't he? <laughs> Funny, huh? <laughs> Toyota's got the cars you want. From cars to trucks to SUVs, there's a Toyota for you. Take Camry, the best-selling car in America. There's Sienna with top crash test ratings, side airbags, and more. And check out Tacoma, Motor Trend's truck of the year, loaded with style and a powerful V6. Great savings and values. Now that's moving you forward. If you want a Dodge Ram that can haul as much as the new 2005 Ford Super Duty, you better make sure of one thing, that you got more than one Dodge Ram. Because with a stronger frame, improved transmission and suspension, the new Ford Super Duty can haul up to 5,800 pounds. This is best in class payload. This is the next Ford Super Duty. Right now, one of the reasons the Cyclones have the advantage, they have already forced Nebraska to six turnovers. So as we look at a Budweiser quick stat, the Huskers with six turnovers already, only one for Iowa State. And the Cyclones able to force a little tempo here. And we'll see how it goes. Gary, I'm going to give our viewers here tonight a little bit of a quiz. I know you know the answer, so don't say. <laughs> There are six guys that used to play for Iowa State that currently play in the NBA. Talk amongst your friends, see how many you can name. And, and for what team they play for. Okay, you've got to come up with both the name of the player and the team he is playing for. And, and whoever in your group gets the most has to, at halftime, shovel the snow on the driveway. How's that? <laughs> that sounds like a good deal. Yeah. There might be a lot of snow to shovel. That's right. So whoever loses this bet in your house has to shovel snow. Turret, good find. It's a good look by Turret. And for those of you who are NBA challenged, I'm going to give you a few hints. Because I, I would hate to see, you know, the six-year-old kid watching the game tonight out there with a shovel at 10 o'clock at night. Stinson loses the handle. It was knocked out by DeRusso. Nebraska, oh, wide open in there. The Cyclones collapse on that, leaving throwing a nice job at DeRusso of going to the basket when he sees these double to triple team there. DeRusso coming off a career at 24 against Kansas. Oh, a bad inbounds pass. Easily picked off by DeRusso. Nice job by DeRusso there with Cena up in that break. And McCray knocked down by Carr, who got there late. There are times when you don't think, oh, that's not really a foul. That was a foul. Iowa State foul. Let's watch the 
comes out, car goes up, his body comes into him and takes him right down. Got to stay away from those fouls on the three-point line. That's what you call a car crash. <laughs> and now, Wayne Morgan watching his team trail by one and McCray going to the line. A 70% free throw shooter. Interesting story on McCray, freshman out of Fort Lauderdale. He originally was recruited by both Michigan State and Penn State to play football. And all of a sudden, Nebraska found out about him. Scott Spinelli, one of their assistants, went down there to Florida with Scott and some other guys and discovered Joe McCray. Well, Sean Clark will take a seat. McCray shooting three free throws because he's fouled in the act of a three-point shot, and that gives Nebraska their biggest lead at four. It's a balanced Nebraska scoring team. Uh, McCray, the only uh, the only player in double figures at 14.3. The others range from nine down to uh, about seven points. It's an 8-0 run for the Huskers. Staples stops that, but really it was the penetration by Stinson that did it. But Staples is just a completely different player right now. His confidence level, before he'd have thought about putting that down and then taking a dribble. Right now he's just taking the balls up and shooting them because he's got some confidence. And, uh, and well, he should because he's shooting 58%. Good play here, and then just a silly foul by Wilkinson reaching in. His second. Earlier, I thought he had yeah, his second, okay. and they changed the call and gave it to someone else. So. I was going to say that. It really did so. If you pick up your third on that kind of a foul. And Nebraska goes into his own. Let's see if uh, Iowa State attacks. We talked in the... About them using their zone and going down the short corner. And had some much success with that against the uh, zone. Holman thought he was planted, but instead he drug his pivot foot off to the rebound and travel on Holman. And just after we showed the Budweiser quick stat about how Iowa State only had one turnover, now all of a sudden they have four. Muleheisen, Blaylock got there just a half step too late. Foul on Blaylock. There's a nice job by Muleheisen right there. The trap's coming, and he changes up, and then the, the defense comes at him, and then he spurts out right there and gets away from it, and Blaylock picks up the foul. First time Blaylock, third team foul the first half for Iowa State. the second on Tashid Carr. All starts with some penetration. See that Muleheisen comes in. Little flip pass underneath, goes up, and ooh, Carr looked like he had a lot of ball. He really did. He might have had reason to have a little beef on that one. And Turek only a 55% free throw shooter. Turek, a guy that's already graduated now. Clark will come back in, and Carr probably have to sit maybe for the rest of the half with two fouls. It's all right, save him for overtime. <laughs> Mr. OT, Turret, hey. missed them both, and Holman takes it away from Clark. So a two-point game, Nebraska up by two, nearing the nine-minute mark of the first half. How many guys from your coffee clutch do you think will come up with all six NBA guys? <laughs> I bet you they do. Very smart guys. It was fun meeting them the other day. They enjoyed meeting you. I had a blast. Can I ask you a lot of questions about this business? It was great. Both groups, both coffee groups uh, joined that day with you. Thanks for letting me do that. Tag along with you. It was fun. We'll do it again. As long as I'm buying, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one coffee group really liked you when you bought the coffee. I said you had to flip for it. <laughs> That's too easy a pass right there. Taruso, boy, everything but down. Good rebound by Staple. Now Stinson wings it across to Blake. Off the walk with it. Nebraska right now is doing a very, very good job of getting back on defense on their missed shots. They're sending two guys back right away. All right, we're going to give them to you one at a time, folks. The NBA guys, so start writing them down in your group. We've given you long enough to come up with six. 
Uh, Jamal Tinsley is one. And he plays for Indiana Pacers. That's right. Nebraska takes a timeout here, trapped in the corner. So Jamal Tinsley, he's played for the Pacers his whole career. Check out the FSC upcoming schedule for the Cyclones. Big game coming up against Bob Knight. Texas Tech, one of the surprise teams in the Big 12 Conference. I just saw them last Saturday night when they beat Oklahoma in Norman. They're good. They're really, really good, folks. That's going to be a great game. The Cyclones need your support on Saturday afternoon. And then, of course, you saw the upcoming schedule after that. For Nebraska, they have a couple of road games coming up in Waco at Baylor on Saturday and then at Oklahoma. And then a couple of home games against Missouri and Oklahoma State. Well, we heard that there were going to be buses and buses and buses of people coming from Ames, Iowa, and there they are. Cyclone Alley has made it all the way, slodging through the snow across I-80. Good for them. Three busloads of Cyclone fans up in the rafters standing, making noise. And I can see why they came with gold shirts with being big red country hair. They got their red shirts back home. That has been a great group for Iowa State. Uh, they come out and, and uh, really root for this team. They get on the other teams uh, in a fun, spirited type of way. And, uh, you can't beat that type of atmosphere. That's, that's, that's that home court advantage. It's great to see them. And they had those seats bought a long time before Iowa State got these three wins in a row, too. So that's even more credit to them. It really is. Gary, in the game tonight, Iowa State so far doing a good job on the glass. They're out rebounding the Huskers, and that's not easy to do. Blaylock, a nice pull-up jumper. Well, this Nebraska team has played physical and uh, a good offensive rebounding club, second in the league, or third in the league, total rebound. That man you hear talking, that's Gary Thompson. I'm Dave Armstrong. We are at the Bob Devaney Center in Lincoln, Nebraska. Big 12 showdown here tonight between two teams trying to move up into the upper echelon. Stinson, quick step to get himself into the lane, but they say he charged into Muleheisen. Well, I talked about how Nebraska's getting people back. They had three back setting on Stinson that time. Stinson making things happen, though, for the Cyclones tonight, who lead by two. Back in the 1800s, when my great-great-grandfather, Adolphus, uh, began brewing Budweiser, getting a nice cold beer in the West wasn't even possible, so he came up with an idea. Refrigerated railroad cars and ice houses along the railroad in order to get Budweiser across the country in the freshest possible condition. That sure made a lot of cowboys happy back then. Today, we take the same pride in bringing our customers not only the very best tasting beer, but the freshest beer possible. With Option Herbicide, it's not just about what's going on out here. It's also about what's going on in here. Because with its exclusive Safener technology, Option helps your corn metabolize herbicide faster and easier, delivering outstanding grass control with enhanced crop safety, leaving you nothing but clean fields on the outside and corn that's growing strong on the inside. Option with exclusive Safener technology. It's grass control with damage control. At CarQuest, our people go above and beyond the call of duty to help the technician working on your car by supplying them with superior service and only quality auto parts. And with nearly 4,000 stores and over 130,000 CarQuest parts to choose from, we'll be there when you need us. CarQuest, the professional choice. High Definition TV, ask the experts at Travis Audio Video. Travis knows HDTV. They'll give you answers to all of your HDTV questions. Travis will show you all of your options from the industry leaders, Sony, including the Grand Vega. Find out if a Sony LCD big screen or a Sony Plasma HDTV is best for you. The Sony picture is great. You'll have to see it for yourself. No one will sell you your new Sony for less. For over 50 years, the Travis name has been synonymous with trust. Stop by today and ask the experts. Travis Audio Video. Minutes have belonged to Iowa State on a 6-0 run, and one of the reasons on the Budweiser Quick Stat, Gary, they're out-rebounding Nebraska 10-6 so far. And we said that could be one of the keys in this basketball game because uh, Nebraska has rebounded the ball very, very well. They have a 
almost a seven rebound advantage over their opponents all season long. Nebraska in a cold spell right now. They haven't had a field goal in over four minutes in this game. Here comes the pressure again. Muleheisen trying to beat the timeline. It does by a second, and now a whistle and a foul on Clark. That trap is coming fast and is really effective against Nebraska tonight. Muleheisen doesn't want to take that ball over here in the corner. You get it over there, he's not quite in the corner, but uh, picks up his dribble as he comes across the half court line. And Lucky for him, the Cyclones picked up a foul. It's the first on Clark, sixth team foul on the Cyclones this half. Second NBA guy for Iowa State, Jackson Groban. Sydney, Australia. Picks out. Now they come back and they double up on the big guy right there. Good double up. Worst thing a big guy can do in a double team is put the ball on the floor. Well, that's the worst thing a guy can do. I'm really liking the action down here with Iowa State. They get it in home and when he's they're coming at a double team, he's kicking right away. If they come back, bounce out, recover, they come right back in on the repost up. Good things gotta have to happen out of that kind of a situation sooner or later. Well, Nebraska really cold right now, and Iowa State taking advantage. An 8-0 run for the Cyclones. Under six to go first half. Look at the Staple and Marich really fighting for position on the low post. Staple fronting him, and Holman's there to help. Staple's gonna have to do it with quickness. This Marich, a 6'11", 265. Stinson knocks it into the Iowa State bench, only three on the shot clock. So Wayne Morgan pointing out to his team, along with Damon Archibald, the assistant. Hey, look, guys, they've only got three seconds to put up a shot. This is where you want to make sure you don't take somebody off the hook and foul. Yes, he's going to be. And throws up an air ball. Good job. So a shot clock violation for Nebraska, and their drop continues. chant you hear coming from Cyclone Alley, folks. It is drowning out the Nebraska crowd. Carr can't hit the three-pointer. Here comes McCray. Good hands by Blaylock. Two on one. Got away with maybe a walk out of nowhere. He reacted real quick. And then both Staple and Clark were there to try to tip it home, and they tipped it away from each other. Now Neal. Bad three, Clark gets it up to Carr. Blaylock is flying down the court. And a good find by Carr. Awesome. I like that bounce pass there. Softens it up and they took it up quick. Now they're beating uh, Nebraska down on the breaking situation. That's because guys are running out. The guy, Nebraska has them two guys to one and then all of a sudden an Iowa Stater is out running them. Let's watch him right here. Coming back and a little bounce pass, takes it up real quick. Gets it up off the glass. See the concentration of Blaylock right there. His eyes going right through that square. Look at that. Iowa State all of a sudden closing in on 50%. But look at Nebraska. They've only taken 14 shots in this game. That's just good defense by Iowa State. A 10-0 run by the Cyclones over the last six minutes. The defense has resulted in some the shot clock was going down to zero. McCray able to coax one home, and the drought ends for the Huskers. McCray, the leading scorer with 11 points for Nebraska. He felt like he let his teammates down against Kansas the other day. He felt like he had to come out and make a statement here tonight. Nebraska crowd trying to pick things up. Tough 
shot. Playing for the rebound. Here comes Neal. Good pass. Gave him a little dose of his own medicine. He's not a bad shot blocker either. He ranks fifth all time here in Nebraska. Caruso lost the handle going up. Felt Coleman coming. Now falling down. Carter's got it. Three on two. Laylock didn't have it. Pulls it back out. Carter not quite ready to shoot. Now a good decision by Iowa State. That's what I think about a running team is the difference. You can run just to, to run. But if it's not there, then you take it back out and set up and get into the offense. Staple not quite there for the pass from Carr, and he travels with it. Iowa State, though, went on that 10-0 run, and Cyclone Alley. Glad they got here and glad to see the Cyclones leading. Wouldn't it be great to watch a movie whenever you feel like watching? That's what you get with Stars on Demand, a free service with any Stars package exclusively available on Mediacom. Every month, Stars puts dozens of great features right at your fingertips. Simply use your remote to order any time of the day or night. It's easy and it's free. And with Stars on Demand, you'd never have to worry about late fees or trips back to the video store. Just pick up your remote and watch on your own time. So enjoy this exclusive feature by subscribing to Stars on Mediacom. It's every corn grower's biggest decision. What's the right seed corn for this season? You want the latest technology, proven performance, superior profitability. So what do you do? Well, it really comes down to one simple choice. In a win or lose business like farming, pick win. FS Seed Corn, the start of a winning season. Talk to your FS crop specialist today. Are you one of these kinds of dads? When the kids came along, did you promise yourself, I never want to look back and wish I'd spend less time at the office? Then you should get to know Shelter Insurance. We're here to help people who plan their lives around their families by offering life insurance that's built for your needs. Life insurance that's right for you and right for the people who depend on you. Shelter Insurance. Seek shelter today. Wasting money? You might be if your certificate of deposit isn't with Community Choice Credit Union. According to RateWatch, an independent company that surveys deposit rates of various financial institutions in central Iowa, Community Choice Credit Union consistently offers the highest rate of return on their CDs. With Community Choice's CD rates as high as 4.68% APY, now is the ideal time to invest. Community Choice Credit Union. It's your money. after Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> Iowa State leading by two. Here is the uh, scoreboard tonight. Look at that close game. Illinois uh, only a one-point lead at Michigan in Ann Arbor and Boston College losing to Notre Dame. Maybe the two unbeatens go down tonight. Kentucky and Florida going a little bit later on. Pittsburgh leading St. John's by six in the second half and a women's score tonight to report from Texas Tech. Iowa State is... Real close to the Lady Red Raiders. Within four in the first half, we'll keep close tabs on that game for you. Two-point contest here, Iowa State. Led by as many as four in this first half. Like six, actually. And on that 10-0 run. Good steal by Holman, and Wilkinson really telegraphed that pass. Yes, he did. Holman reading his eyes right there. Car, boy, that was right on target, just a hair short. Oh. You see the size of Wilkinson, Turek. Home in his fifth rebound of this first half. Cyclones is doing a great job of staying with Nebraska. A little while ago, it was 11 to 11 on rebounds. It's 12 12 right now. And a reach in by Wilkinson. And that is his third. So Wilkinson, that's the last thing that Barry Collier wanted to see happen was Wilkinson pick up a third foul before halftime, and he has. Now he's got to come out. 
So that makes Collier's Huskers a little bit smaller now and go with the freshman Marich, but instead he's going with the smaller Corey Sims. So it's a real small lineup right now for Nebraska. And immediately Iowa State takes it right inside. Corey Sims, a, a veteran player. He's had 42 starts out of 107 games, and he's a, he's a good defender. More of a defender than an offensive player. Nearing the one-minute mark of his first half. Oh, and, uh, battle with Turek on the inside. A couple of Iowa kicks. Turek, of course, from Council Bluffs. Good job by Holman again. Fighting for position when the shot went up and turned and blocked him off. Came up with the rebound. And try to sneak in the other guys from the Cyclones that are in the NBA. Try to get that to you before halftime. So, McRae able to pick this off. I was thinking the Cyclones right there would think about getting a two for one shoot. shot deal. Sims. Holman got a piece of that one. Stinson. Stinson will be going to the line. Watch Stinson. Watch his move right here. Now he gets that jump. You know, that's where the crowd always thinks is traveling and catches up and they get a block call. The crowd doesn't like it. Stinson will go to the line, and I think when they play in the NBA. So the other guys are this: Marcus Pfizer with the Bucks, Kelvin Cato with the Magic, Fred Hoiberg with Minnesota, and trip yeah Paul Shirley is playing with the Sun so those are the six Hoiberg Tinsley Pfizer Cato Shirley and Vroman how many did you get I got them all but uh, an interesting thing about Shirley about three hours before Phoenix contacted he had called coach Floyd and told him I'm giving up basketball I don't like it here in Russia he was playing and Kevin he calls him back two hours later and said you wouldn't believe it my agent just called me I'm signed on with Phoenix for the rest of the year <laughs> oh, what a story that's great couldn't happen to a nicer guy great person he really is how about the, the job that Holman has done on the defensive glass here tonight six rebounds in his first half the crucial thing always I think when you come down you've got to lead if, if nothing happens you're going to have a lead in three points it's not to shoot it too early that's not over and back that went off Nebraska Blaylock long three doesn't get it and the buzzer sounds so Wayne Morgan's club looks up at that scoreboard and they know they have the advantage after the first 20 minutes of play McCray did the job for the Huskers, but Iowa State able to answer. Our key matchup as Stinson had a good first half, and Iowa State leads by three. the new 2005 Ford Super Duty's towing capacity with a Chevy Silverado, you better make sure you got more than one Silverado. With a class-exclusive tow command system featuring a torque ship five-speed automatic, the new Super Duty can just flat-out pull more. And with a fully integrated trailer brake controller, Super Duty does it with more control. This is best-in-class towing. This is the next Ford Super Duty. You're all probably wondering why I've upgraded everyone's Angus to an Angus Bacon Cheddar Ranch. This is our last meal together. I have to fire one of you. How, how, how are you going to decide? I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. What are you thinking of? What number? Uh, 4. You're fired. Step up to the new BK Angus Bacon Cheddar Ranch. It's good. Have it your way. 
tonight after NYPD Blue. Your job is to help save people's lives. The faster you get there, the more you can do. But now it seems more and more drivers aren't getting out of your way. When an emergency vehicle approaches, you might think you know what to do, but do you actually do it? When every second counts in an emergency, why are so many Iowans ignoring the sirens? Find out and ride along tonight on Channel 5 Eyewitness News at 10. For continuing coverage of the Pierre Pierce case, stay with Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Thousands of well-educated people into the world. I'm Mindy DeVries, music teacher. Javier Lozano, IT analyst. Brent Matisson, internal auditor. With Iowa businesses looking for new yet knowledgeable employees, more employers are going to Iowa State. I went to Iowa State, and now I live and work in the state. Go State. Go State. Go State. To keep the best in the state, go State. Iowa State University. So Iowa State leading 27-24 at halftime. Blaylock and Stinson with 10 points each in the first half. Joe McRae added 11 for Nebraska. With Gary Thompson, I'm Dave Armstrong. Gary, your thoughts on that first half? Well, it was a slow-paced game for what you're used to with Iowa State coming after that Texas game. But I think Iowa State's done a good job on the defense end. They're rebounding. We said that was a real concern. And their defense has caused eight or nine steals in his first half. Consequently, they've gotten uh, four more shots up at the hoop than uh, Nebraska. And I think that's been a factor. We'll see if these numbers mean anything as we head to break. Keep this in mind. Iowa State 9-0 this year when leading at halftime. And Nebraska is 0-5 when they trail. Why do so many people consistently choose Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield for their health insurance? They have the kind of customer service that makes me feel like an individual, not a number. They answer my questions the first time around so I can get on with my life. I can call or simply go online to get the help I need when I need it. Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield, making a difference through better service. From the fastest and strongest to the most capable and most powerful Dodge Ram trucks. <laughs> Matched by none, envied by all. Come on, man, floor it! Hey. This is Ben of Get Fired Up, a real Quest business customer. With Quest, Get Fired Up gets to select the services they need to manage and serve their vendors, employees, and customers. They get wireless and business lines that work together, high-speed internet, and save money, which means Get Fired Up gets what they want. So if Get Fired Up can... You can, too. Call Quest at 800-350-1044 and get the business services you need. That's our spirit of service in action. I mean, I used to date these guys, and I wonder, why doesn't this feel right? You know, why isn't he the one? And then I met Ben. You know, it's really nice when you realize you don't have to compromise. I mean, that's why I bought a Saturn. 140 horsepower, 32 miles per gallon highway. The No Compromise 2005 Saturn Ion. Lease a new 2005 Saturn Ion 1 for $139 a month. Residency restrictions apply. Call for details. The job in Iowa. Works hard, gets paid, buys gas and groceries, pays rent. Multiply that by thousands of Iowa State graduates staying in Iowa, working with Iowa companies, and you'll understand the impact Iowa State University is having on Iowa, and how through their knowledge, their ideas, and their earnings, Iowa Staters are making Iowa greater. And you thought we were only helping students become their best. Welcome back. It's halftime of the Nebraska-Iowa State game from Lincoln, Nebraska. And joining us now at halftime, Dick Lee and Steve Lynn, the track aficionados at Iowa State. Uh, Dick, let's start with you. So far, how has the indoor season gone? We've had a good year so far. We've had uh, three indoor meets. Uh, we've had some very good performances. Ada Anderson, a returning uh, national qualifier for us, has been running very well. Uh, and really, across the board, we've had a good season so far. How about you, Steve? Yeah, we feel the same way. Uh, very satisfied with the team right now as to how they're doing. We had uh, seven wins at the ISU Open, which was a large meet, about a thousand athletes in here. So that was uh, that was a good meet. Uh, 
we've got uh, a, a good group of kids back, uh, uh, several uh, in all different areas. It jumps uh, the middle distance, the throws, and the sprints. Uh, we really feel pretty confident that they're going to have a good season. How was the outdoor season last fall? Uh, we had a, 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 g a good season outdoors. We had a, a two national qualifiers to the outdoor championships last year on the women's side. Mm -hmm. uh, Rebecca Williams, a 100-meter hurdler, and uh, Agata Kasuda, a triple jumper, and actually a third one who graduated last year, Jessica Huff, a 1,500-meter runner from Marshalltown, Iowa. How about the man? Uh, we had, uh, we, we placed uh, seventh in the conference, and then we had uh, nine guys qualify for the NCAA regional meet. Uh, most of those guys are back, which is a, which is a good thing. Uh, uh, Tony Douglas uh, and uh, Jamal Salahuddin uh, qualified for the uh, uh, NCAA meet in the triple in the long jump and the and the discus. Uh, Jared Graham uh, leads a group of sprinters in the, that have qualified in the relays in the past, along with James Lopes and uh, Elijah Brema. And then our middle distance crew is really going to have a great year this year, I think. There are uh, quite a few seniors in there, Corey Lennon and, and uh, Craig Cartier uh, kind of lead that group right now. So uh, uh, it's a well-balanced thing. We look forward to uh, this upcoming weekend. The ISU Classic is mm -hmm. uh, really the top track meet in the nation this year. Teams from Florida, Oregon, California uh, are all coming in here. There's about uh, 30 men's and 30 women's teams, uh, uh, many Olympians. It's, uh, it's, it's quite a meet. It should be, and uh, tickets are still available, I assume, for that? Actually, that there, all of our meets are a, a heck of a bargain. You can come over and, and watch them for for nothing. Wow, we don't that's uh, we don't charge for it. You get right up with the athletes and get a chance to see some. Uh, you know, you, you could see a 19 foot pole vault or a, mm -hmm. uh, a seven seven high jump or a 26 eight long jump, uh, and it's uh, uh, it's it's quite an experience. It's a lot of fun to have. There'll be several 2004 Olympians. They'll be competing at our our facility this weekend. Folks, you can't beat it. I mean, come on, beat the weather. Go in. Doors, watch some future Olympians at the Iowa State Classic. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Thank Dave. All right, and we'll get back to highlights and more action from Lincoln, Nebraska in just a moment. Series presented by Coca-Cola and Kraft Foods, bringing you head-to-head -head competition from friendly in-state rivals. Electricity is a vital yet dangerous resource. Never entrust your electrical needs to an untrained contractor. Honey, the electrician's here. You didn't hire a union electrician, did you? Union electrical workers complete rigorous training, including over 10,000 hours on the job and in the classroom. With a union electrician, you can be sure your job will be done safely, on time, and done right. For your next project, call on the Electrical Workers Local 347. Have you tried digital video recording with Mediacom? It's easy. With a Mediacom DVR box, you're automatically recording whatever you're watching. Got an important phone call? Simply press the pause button. When you return, press play and you'll start right where you left off. You can even rewind to watch again in super slow motion. Or record a program when you're away by using the main menu to find your favorite show and pressing record. It's that easy. The digital video recorder from Mediacom. Call now for the perfect and easy way to control what you want to watch. We're serious about fun and games, the Rec Room, the Rec Room. We're serious about what we do, we've got great ideas for you, it's the Rec Room. Truly? You'll turn into a prince? Yup. You're still a frog. You, uh, wanna try again? Want more chances to make your dreams come true? Play Extreme Green from the Iowa Lottery. There are 10 chances to win 100,000 smackers instantly. A princely sum indeed. Bad frog. Woohoo! And sample a calorie-free Sweet Rewards chocolate scratch and sniff ticket. If you've got a bar or a counter, you need stools. And the Rec Room Plus has the largest selection of bar stools in the universe. High back, low back, no back, throw back, hip and new, you name it. We've got it with new styles all the time. No matter what they're for, the Rec Room Plus has exactly the stool you need. 
time the three buses arrived and Cyclone Alley descended upon the Bob Devaney Center in Lincoln, Nebraska. From that moment on, Iowa State took command of the game. In fact, limited Nebraska to only two field goals in the last 11 minutes, 18 seconds of the first half. Take a look at our shelter insurance first half highlights. First ball for the Cornhuskers. You see Jake Muleheisen come up with a three-pointer. That was his only bucket of the first half. McRae led the Cornhuskers with 11 points. You'll see Neal come down here, a little drop-off pass to Caruso. He had 24 against Kansas, only four here in the first half. Good penetration. And you see Staple right there with his only bucket. He only took one shot. Little steal, little flip pass underneath, and Stinson takes it up. He had 10 points in the first half. Now we're going to come back and look at Blaylock. Airballed his first three-point shot to come back, had two in the, in the half. He has 10 points also. Stinson and Blaylock, four for seven from the field. For your insurance needs, visit shelterinsurance.com to find the shelter agent near you. Seek shelter today. Can the Cyclones hang on and win for the second time in a row on the road in the Big 12? We'll find out. Rocky, you have a call on line one. At CarQuest, our people go above and beyond the call of duty to help the technician working on your car by supplying them with superior service and only quality auto parts. And with nearly 4,000 stores and over 130,000 CarQuest parts to choose from, we'll be there when you need us. CarQuest, the professional choice. Come see why Mid-States Ford is Iowa's fastest growing Ford dealer. This month, get a free iPod shuffle with the purchase of any new or pre-owned vehicle. Like a new F-Series pickup, we have over 150 available right now and starting at just $14,799. Or drive home a new 2004 Explorer XLT 4x4 with third row seat, towing package, CD player, and more for just $23,499. Right now at Mid-States Ford. Leave happy. Cyclone basketball on ESPN Plus is brought to you by Option Herbicide, grass control that puts you in control. By the electrical workers of Local 347 for a job done right on time and on budget. By Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Iowa, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. The difference is blue. By High V, cheer for your team in the High V Cyhawk Series, presented by Coca-Cola and Kraft Foods. By Dodge, grab life by the horns. By Budweiser, grab a fresh cold Budweiser. It's game time. By CarQuest Auto Parts and the 4,000 CarQuest Auto Parts stores across North America. You'll find it at CarQuest. By Shelter Insurance. For your insurance needs, visit shelterinsurance.com to find the shelter agent near you. Seek shelter today. And by Balance Pro, the power of recharge. All set to go inside the Bob Devaney Center in Lincoln, Nebraska. Snowing outside. The snow is starting to diminish, but the action inside is just starting to heat up. Hey, you know, another plus for Iowa State, if you're an Iowa State fan, is the fact with the short bench right now is that they only, Carr had two fouls, and that's the only guy that had two. So in good shape there with a short bench. Good play coming out of the break. Out of the halftime locker room, Stinson adds to his point total. He's got a dozen now. It'll be interesting, Gary, to see if Nebraska can get loose offensively. As I mentioned, just two field goals in the last 11 minutes, 18 seconds of the first half. Iowa State just has to remember on the gray. They got to find him a little quicker. He got some open shots. What a battle for the rebound and picked off by Clark. Bounce pass, Stinson. He's fouled. Check out statistically in the first half. Brought to you by Bud Light. Judy percentage, Nebraska State in at 43%. The big thing was turnovers. Iowa State forced 12 turnovers and then rebounding. Iowa State doing a good job, in fact, leading by one over the Cornhuskers. A tough rebounding club. And Gary, out of those 12 turnovers, nine of those were steals. Stinson can't hit the free throw. 
So their uh, zone and the trap off the zone are full. Go ahead, Dave. I was just going to say the key matchup here tonight. We're following that. We said who might have the advantage in this might have the advantage in the game as well. Thing is, for McCray, he's not getting much help from the rest of his teammates, and Stinson is, most particularly Will Blaylock, who has 10 points. Stinson has both free throws. So a five-point advantage for Iowa State. DeRusso, good spin move. Wow, what, a, what a move. Very athletic move. We told you early in the first half, he's a slasher. He'll try to take it to the hoop. Blaylock might have taken that three-point shot if anybody had been underneath the basket to rebound. But no one was there. Or that battle between Turek and Holman on both ends. How long do you think those two guys have been battling in Iowa Wars? Coleman throws up a shot that's tough for him to hit. Yeah, that's off balance. He's shooting it off one foot. There's those long arms of Blaylock. Two on two. Blaylock has it blocked by Muehlheisen. Again, I feel that the Cyclones have to watch that when they come down. There's where he's talking about if you can't get a good one in a break situation, mm -hmm. take it out. I mean, to me, that's two shots that aren't the quality of shots you'd like, particularly playing on the road. And he's given up two possessions in a row. Nice little foul inside. That one on Holman trying to keep Turek out of the paint. And let me tell you, Holman was close to getting the team. He sure was. There he said, when he said something, he carried it. He turned around and looked and stopped. And <laughs> here's some scores as Illinois remains unbeaten. But Boston College, they were handled tonight by Notre Dame. That one in South Bend. Three-pointer is no. Bob Helmers has been thrown in the truck all night long about predicting that game. And he's won for the season now. He, he beat you out of the coke, and they yes, it. <laughs> That's okay. Marcus Neal Jr. is what I won, almost won in that basketball pool. <laughs> Would have covered that, but you guys. Hey, why don't you tell them about that pool? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how you guys had that master sheet going. I knew I was going to give up my dollar. Wilkinson, with his fourth foul, has to take a seat on the bench. I knew that was not a wager, but a donation right from the get-go. Holman's not the guy you want handling the ball on top of the key. Now Stinson takes control. Staple. Pulls back. Tough shot. Damien Staple. Wow. I just cannot get over the confidence this guy has gotten over the last uh, six, seven games. Uh, he's actually looking for that shot. He's two of them. He's two of two, Gary. Yeah. Shot by Stable. Rises up, just watching him right there, take it up and over, and then hustling back. And they said that ball was tipped by Stinson. I don't know that it was. Well, Stinson was talking, <laughs> he spent a lot of time talking to Kerry Sitton again. They better get off Sitton, I think. He might get a short fuse there. McCray. That won't go. Clark, I mean, really cleared things out in the paint. DeRusso went flying. come out from the locker room on fire and have their biggest lead of the game. It's up to seven. There's the shot you're looking for. Is he squared up to the basket? Nebraska still, Gary, having a dickens of a time trying to find any room against this zone. One, the, one thing they never do is to help them cross court with that pass but he usually come out to the, the top. Muehlheisen rattles another three that won't go. Blaylock, Muehlheisen keeps it alive. Good hustle by Muehlheisen. That's the type of player he is. Those are the things you do not see in the last Neil gets the basket, but that was all Muehlheisen. That's a four-point turnaround right there. Two of the guy will say probably can get on this end. He hustles it in there and saves it. And they end up with two. Looking to go high low. And a timeout taken by Muehlheim. Another hustle play for Jake 
Muleheisen. But right now, it's Iowa State keeping the Huskers at arm's length, leading 33-28. If you're planting hybrids with Herculex One insect protection, make sure you extract every ounce of performance with the best weed control. Because all hybrids with Herculex One carry the Liberty Link trait, giving you the opportunity to use Liberty herbicide to control over 120 broadleaf weeds and grasses with unsurpassed crop safety. Talk to your retailer about Liberty today and make the most of every acre. Stow and go. Another minivan first from Dodge. Daddy just had to get a motorcycle, didn't he? <laughs> Funny, huh? Wouldn't it be great to watch a movie whenever you feel like watching? That's what you get with Stars on Demand, a free service with any Stars package exclusively available on Mediacom. Every month, Stars puts dozens of great features right at your fingertips. Simply use your remote to order any time of the day or night. It's easy and it's free. And with Stars on Demand, you'd never have to worry about late fees or trips back to the video store. Just pick up your remote and watch on your own time. So enjoy this exclusive feature by subscribing to Stars on Mediacom. Toyota's got the cars you want. From cars to trucks to SUVs, there's a Toyota for you. Take Camry, the best-selling car in America. There's Sienna with top crash test ratings, side airbags, and more. And check out Tacoma, Motor Trend's truck of the year, loaded with style and a powerful V6. Great savings and values. Now that's moving you forward. So the Cyclones leading 6-4 in the second half, leading by five right now, 33-28. Our CarQuest play for keeps replay. Well, the first half, Nebraska did a pretty good job of getting back, stopping the break, but here the Cyclones get out. You see the shoot card, a little bounce pass there. Playlock fills the lane, lays it up off the pass. Good concentration there, nails it for an easy two. So the field goal percentages by half. Iowa State, 60% in the second half, just getting started, getting warmed up, these two teams. Already 11 steals by the Cyclones here tonight. So we've got another timeout. Another quick breather for a six-man rotation for Iowa State. They'll take it. Why do so many people confidently choose Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield for their health insurance? With the Blues, our health insurance is easy and hassle-free. Even small businesses like mine have a wide choice of plan designs. Wherever we travel, the Blue Card Network gives us the coverage we need. Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. The difference is blue. This field was treated with Balance Pro herbicide. It sat there for 15 days without a drop of rain, and the weeds came up again. And then it rained, and Recharge got them like that. We know, because this is our field. Since 1999, Balance Pro has been used successfully on more than 21 million acres. That's the power of Recharge. head-to-head -head competition from friendly in-state rivals. If you want a Dodge Ram that can haul as much as the new 2005 Ford Super Duty, you better make sure of one thing, that you got more than one Dodge Ram. Because with a stronger frame, improved transmission and suspension, the new Ford Super Duty can haul up to 5,800 pounds. This is best-in-class payload. This is the next Ford Super Duty. 
33 to 28 and one of the reasons they're on top right now they have been great at picking the pocket of Nebraska and the Budweiser quick stat 11 steals for Iowa State tonight now that's usually they're, they're one of the best in the country anyway at 8.7 a game second in the Big 12 but tonight they're even better 11 so far they had nine in the first half what this they're traps too and not only with the steals but it takes the rhythm away from some of the teams in their offense because you're fighting that trap and to get in it unless you hit them quick uh, after you beat that trap then you got to come back and set up that was partially blocked by Clark Stinson saves it to Blaylock notice what Stinson did there we say never center into this in the middle of the court on your own uh, uh, the opponent's uh, basket right there but he got up and he waited and he looked and he found the guy he didn't throw it blindly it was a good heads up play by Stinson any surprise he found Blaylock <laughs> <No>. <laughs> those guys know where each other are on the court all the time good find by Stinson again and Holman Jared gets Holman. another two Good ball movement, unselfish play. Ties the biggest lead of the game for the Cyclones, up to seven again. Cyclones are leading right now, folks, with their defense. They're playing good offense, but defensively terrific. And Muleheiser, who hit his first couple, has really struggled from beyond the arc of late. In fact, he hit his first one, and since then, he is one for six. Update from Lubbock, Texas. Now Texas Tech continuing to lead Iowa State 48-41 in women's play. Another great win. They just came off a great win against Texas at home. Terrific win in Lubbock. with that little left-handed half hook shot. But field goals are hard to come by for the Huskers here tonight. Folks, just take your eye off the ball for just a second. Every now and then on these possessions, just watch number 44 in white, John Turek, and number 51, Jerry Holman, for Iowa State. That, that is a bad one. This one a foul. This one called on Marcus Neal. Playlock with that acceleration that time. He gets by the man. He tries to reach behind. Picks up the foul. Marcus Neal. First one on Neal. That's the 13th foul this half on Nebraska. And a shooting violation. Iowa State's been trying to do a little bit high-low action, bringing uh, Staple out. And trying to go uh, over the top to Holman. As they back off, we saw Staple. So it did, and it'll that, stay with Iowa State. That shot of Holman's that time was more of a throw. I mean, he gave her a push instead of just a nice shot. Turk's like doing Norman a good does. job of shoving him about yeah. two, three feet outside his comfort zone. As you said, watch that. It's a battle in there. Two big guys. Physical play. Clark pulls up for three. No. Rebound the McCray. Clark, uh, for a freshman, a very disciplined shooter. I mean, he, he waits for the shots to come to him. McCray, Stinson, hit him after the shot. It'll be three free throws for McCray. That's the second time in the game that McCray will go to the lane to shoot three. I always think about the number one. Those kind of fouls really hurt. I know they can shoot the three point, but you, you want to try and bother them and miss them. You do not want to pick up that foul. Gary, sometimes a shooter like McCray, he'll hold his arm out there, yeah. <laughs> and Stinson will actually know he's not going to foul, but by McCray holding his arm out, Stinson runs into the extended arm. It's like a punter who keeps his leg out and then all of a sudden draws the contact almost. And the Budweiser quick stat. As you look at the points off the turnovers, well, they've created all those turnovers, but haven't got any points out of it. You would have thought Iowa State would have had the advantage. McCray, a dozen points tonight, four of those from the line. Clark will get a breather. And Carr takes his place. We've only seen six guys play tonight for Iowa State. Save it, but can't. 
Coleman, I, I think, trying to do a little too much offensively right now. He doesn't need to score a lot. Sure. I thought he made a good play there. He had a little advantage. He went to hold him somehow. You couldn't see we're blocked out here, but what happened? Knocked away or lost it. Nebraska really opened that perimeter, and Neal hits a big three, and all of a sudden it's a tie ball game. A 7-0-1 for the Huskers, and their crowd is alive. You know, in practice, I went to Iowa State practice, and they talked about this Neal who's been starting. He's only shooting 29%. But he said when it comes up big, he always looks for those shots, those big shots. He's not afraid to take them. Iowa State clears out for Stinson. Stinson goes for his own rebound, can't get it. Here comes Deal on the break. Feel a little momentum swing right now towards the Cornhuskers. Their, their pace of their game is picked up. You notice that? You hit a couple, and uh, right away they're quicker. Colin Holman with the body. Watching good ball movement here. Back out, find Neal with the open shot. Only 29%. Three-point shooter, but he nails that one. Two shots for number one, Jason Deruso. And Deruso will go to the line where he's a 56% free-throw shooter. I saw him here earlier against Texas when he really twisted his ankle, then wound up missing a couple of games. But his last four games, Deruso's averaged 12 points per contest and hit 58% of his field goals. Holman will get a breather. That's a, that's a good move by Coach Morgan, I think, to give him. Uh, he's a tired kid. We have to talk about battling Terry. So most likely will be a media timeout, so it gives him a little more. Staple handles the rebound after DeRusso misses both free throws, and one of them would have given Nebraska the lead. Iowa State led by three at halftime by as many as seven here in the second half. State just trying a little run. Wheel out there on the front with the three outside players to see what they're trying to get out of this. Clock running down, they better get a shot up. Stinson throws it to Blaylock, doesn't go. And the rebound to Neal. Crowd wanted to foul on Damian Staple that time, thought he went over the back. He did. I, I think if <laughs> Nebraska hadn't come up with a rebound, there might have been a foul call. They lob it in to Turret. Good block. Yeah, that's a, a good block by Clark. So we've got a timeout right now at the 11:22 mark. Wayne Morgan trying to coach his team to their second straight Big 12 road win. In 1876, my great-great-grandfather, Adolphus Bush, started brewing a handcrafted beer right here in St. Louis called Budweiser. And that recipe of ingredients is the same today as it was when it was founded over 125 years ago. I think tradition is a very, very important thing because there are certain values uh, like quality and integrity that really should never change. Budweiser started as a great beer and is still that same great beer today. With Option Herbicide, it's not just about what's going on out here. It's also about what's going on in here. Because with its exclusive Safener technology, Option helps your corn metabolize herbicide faster and easier, delivering outstanding grass control with enhanced crop safety, leaving you nothing but clean fields on the outside and corn that's growing strong on the inside. Option with exclusive Safener technology. It's grass control with damage control. His name's Cole. He was 13 days late. And there was literally a point where I thought I was you're not going to be pregnant forever. But you spend your whole life putting yourself first, and then just like that, you're second. And you're just so thankful. That's why I bought a Saturn. The five-star crash safety rated 2005 Saturn View. Lease a new 2005 Saturn View front-wheel drive four with Sport Plus package for $199 a month. Residency restrictions apply. Call for details. Well, look who finally decided to take a break from his new computer. Hey, how exactly am I supposed to show off my amazing European-inspired suspension if I'm just sitting here? You know, I'm hoping that you're up there downloading maps so we can go somewhere cool when you're better. And may I just remind you, my friend, 
that were it not for me, you would not have that new Dell computer. Ford Focus, it begs to be driven. Get into any Ford Focus with 2,000 cash back and get a Dell Dimension PC with a flat panel monitor and all-in-one printer at no extra charge. Only at your local Ford store. This game is all knotted up at 35 apiece, and you're going to see why this game remained tied at 35. Over the top pass right here to Turek. He should have taken that ball up right up that side. He used his body, but shielded off. Now he takes it underneath, and he takes the defensive man, Rashawn Clark, right there. Goes right up and blocks the shot up. He should have took it up on the other side strong. He probably had the basket or at least got fouled. No surprise at all that Nebraska immediately went inside with Jared Homan. Jared Holman sitting on the bench getting a breather right now. Now a much bigger lineup for Nebraska. Nice, nice trap there by Iowa State. Just didn't come away with the basketball. Shot clock down to six, five, four. Neal, long three, long three. Boy, that's a heartbreaker if you're a Cyclone fan. Neal wants to get back in the starting lineup, Dave. And <laughs> yeah, Neal who started every game. All of a sudden, Neal coming on strong, and Iowa State trying to break out of a drop. They haven't scored in almost four minutes, and Neal with eight points, two of three from three-point range. They've been struggling a little bit here in the half-court game, the second half. Stable. And will go to the line to try to earn it. Nebraska foul number two, Joe McBride, his third personal. Watch down the other end, McCray. Tips it out, and here's Neal, just a little late getting there, but he does stay away from the foul. He makes him hit it, and Neal comes through again. That's a long three, too, for Neal. Staples become Larry Bird all of a sudden at the line. Didn't mean to jinx the young man, but he's three or three from the line tonight. Clark picks up his second foul. Iowa State foul number 13. Clark is second personal. 15 foul. McCray does have three fouls. That wasn't the foul on him, though. It was on Clark. And tipped out by Blaylock. And it stay with Nebraska. McCray has three for the Huskers. Wilkinson with four. Holman has three for Iowa State. McCray. Another three. Nebraska starting to shoot well from the outside. Those are zone busters. McCray, you just have to get to him quick. He can shoot that ball so fast. He got a quick release. And he's got great range. <laughs> That makes it even tougher. Stinson, nice little running one-hander. You know, he always seems to react. When another team gets a momentum or ties the game or makes a bucket, he always wants it to come back. He wants to stick it right back to him. Well, I almost had a steal, but got it with his foot first. Stinson come around, a little change up there, gets him a little advantage, goes up. A little teardrop shot we talk about so much with Stinson. And it stops a 13 to 1 run for Nebraska. Oscar is still leading by three right now. They've led by as many as five. DeRusso. And this one a foul. This one on Blaylock. So Blaylock picks up his second. Nebraska been shooting a guy into the middle uh, against this zone. They've been having success getting it in there. Picked up some fouls. That's 16 fouls now on Iowa State. Call you're calling something there. The bench. Gave it to the big fella McCray and said, muscle it up. And he does. You know, I, I didn't see that because I was watching off the ball, but sometimes you're, when you're defending on the ball and the basket, take that pass away to the back side. Overplay that man, in that case, to the right hand. Make it a tough pass. And that Budweiser quick step, you see Nebraska hitting three in a row from three-point range, but there's Rashawn Clark answering with a three. The first one for Iowa State this half. Just like that, it's a two-point contest. There's that man in the middle. Now they got two against three. 
Russell, and who's the foul on this time? Is it Clark? It is. Held your breath for a second, thinking it might have been Homan because he was in the area, but it is on Clark. Nebraska doing a good job now. Let's watch it. They get it into the middle. When you see that there, they got three guys. Got one guy out here in the left, attack two, and he splits the two of them right there, picks up the foul. So the foul on Clark is his second, and a 30-second timeout taken by Wayne Morgan and the Cyclones. When you look at RPIs, you start thinking about that as we get closer and closer to March. By the way, the Cyclones are not on this page, but they have made a huge jump in the RPI. They jumped something like 50 spots in one week thanks to that overtime win at Texas. Kansas in the inside RPI, number one, but number four on the Joe Lenardi RPI. You can see the difference between the two RPI polls. Uh, Oklahoma State, for instance, five on one, eight on another. Uh, Joe Lenardi is with ESPN.com. The big discrepancy, North Carolina, 9 on one poll, 23 on another. And he likes Washington a lot, Joe Lenardi. He's got them as his top team in the country. Well, Dave, you mentioned early in the telecast about the average spread over the last five games or six games, I think 2.5 points. Yeah. Well, we're sitting at a two-point game <laughs> right now. So it should not come as a shock here, folks. So DeRusso will go to the line. DeRusso, 0 for 2 from the line tonight. As we mentioned, look at the season. Only 56% on the year. So he doesn't come to the line with a great deal of confidence. Look pretty confident there, though. Now you, you have to, in your mindset, though, as a defensive team, you've got to be thinking that he's going to miss and be ready to really check hard and keep your man out of there. He does miss, and a good rebound by Clark. It's usually a shooter like that that's not a, It doesn't shoot the ball very well. The ball will come off of their heart. Kick out, Clark, three, got it. That's his second straight three. And just like that, Iowa State has tied the game. When I look over at the uh, Nebraska bench that time, they're just holding their hands. They said they're doubling down on Holman and the inside, the big guys, and, uh, and leaving Clark wide open. Natura, good interior pass, but great recovery by Iowa State. And then DeRusso kicking the pocket, and a whistle and a foul on the Cyclones. Iowa State foul on the 22 stick on the second down on the other end here. Here's Stinson coming the inside to Holman. Got one guy on him. Now they come to double. He looks at the double, kicks it out, and there's Clark all by himself, and he nails another. Shooting a great percentage on the air from the three-point line. It always takes that control shot. Clark tonight, three of six. That's right on his average. He was seven of 14 from three-point range coming into the game tonight. So Barry Collier calmly watching the action unfold here, and DeRusso with his eight points. Two of them from the line tonight. And it's both free throws to give the Huskers a two-point advantage. Huskers have led by as many as five in this game. Iowa State by as many as seven. Corey Sims checks back in for Nebraska. It's seven lead changes in this game, plus five ties. Clark. Nope, missed badly that time. Now Neal. Nice job by Stinson there, staying away from the foul. And an air ball by Neal. Saved by Sims, but here comes Clark and Stinson. Stinson pulls up wisely. Yes, great, great uh, remark there, Dave, because that's exactly, he said on another charging foul, or an offensive foul, but he pulls up and hits the jumper. Good body control. I wonder what Clark did, too. Give it up early yep. to Stinson. That's the key so many times in your break situations. Give it up at the right time, and, and normally it's earlier than later. Terry can hit home and do it really badly. Turek throws a flat shot that goes. Got a little lucky on that one. When he shot that, I'll guarantee you, he said to himself, I missed this one. He got the little roll off the rim and fell in. 
If that ball gets by the front of the rim, it clanks <laughs> off the back of the rim. No chance for it to go in, but it does. And Nebraska leads by two again. Stinson, boy, he looks like he can score anytime he wants to right now. And you know, he's kind of taking the ball game over here right now. But you, I'm waiting for Turek that time to come and maybe and get the block on him. But he gets that rid of that ball quick. He sees the defense and who's there, reads it well. Shot the ball quick, got it up off the glass. 18, Great 18 Gary, for Stinson, yeah. and he is 8 of 12 from the field. Heady player. McCray from the wing. No. Clark fighting for the rebound, kept that alive for Stinson. Four rebounds for Stinson to go along with his four assists, 18 points. So we've got a timeout. Iowa State trying to run past the Huskers here tonight in Nebraska. 6.03 remaining, or are we for another overtime? Have you tried digital video recording with Mediacom? It's easy. With a Mediacom DVR box, you're automatically recording whatever you're watching. Got an important phone call? Simply press the pause button. When you return, press play and you'll start right where you left off. You can even rewind to watch again in super slow motion. Or record a program when you're away by using the main menu to find your favorite show and pressing record. It's that easy. The digital video recorder from Mediacom. Call now for the perfect and easy way to control what you want to watch. Electricity is a vital yet dangerous resource. Never entrust your electrical needs to an untrained contractor. Honey, the electrician's here. You didn't hire a union electrician, did you? Union electrical workers complete rigorous training, including over 10,000 hours on the job and in the classroom. With a union electrician, you can be sure your job will be done safely, on time, and done right. For your next project, call on the Electrical Workers Local 347. From the fastest and strongest to the most capable and most powerful Dodge Ram trucks. <laughs> Matched by none, envied by all. Come on, my influence! Hey! Is it a marvel of engineering? A triumph of technology? Or a new benchmark of design? Yes. The LS from Lexus. At Betts Lexus Des Moines. Eight with 6.03 remaining in regulation. And on the balanced game story, second half field goal percentage, both these teams having a rough time. I don't know if that's a credit to the defense of both clubs or maybe just bad offense, but it's been tough. It's really been tough to get a good shot in this game. No doubt about that, Dave. It's been, it's, he's been playing good defense. Converging on one another on the big guys on the inside. Well, we understand it is snowing in Iowa now, so the snow that passed through here earlier today and still lightly falling in Lincoln. And the car can't hit that three, can't pick up where he left off, but Staple did a great job to keep it going. Now Carr tries another three, that one nothing but net. Maybe that's the one to get him going. He's been short on most of those shots tonight. He finally gets that over the front of the rim and nails it. He had more elevation on the jump that time, too, didn't he? His first three-pointer, he's one for four tonight. Iowa State get that close to forcing a 10-second call. The pressure. Turek, double team. Now Wilkinson lost the handle on the way up. Because of a strip by Blaylock. 
13 steals by Iowa State tonight. That's the most by any Nebraska opponent. And Blaylock answers at the other end as well. So give that whole thing to Blaylock, folks. The strip and the two. And here's Iowa State leading by five again. And Stinson with a steal. Carr follows, fouled by Marcus Neal. Stinson that time were looking off the defender to see what he's going to do and then didn't quite get it up high enough on the glass. We get a chance to look at it again. Iowa State now coming back, breaking over the steal. This is what uh, that pressure does for him. Watch him now. He looks back, goes up, and he, and he doesn't get his body turned in there going to that square. And it makes it a tough shot because he had to flatten out. And you got to give credit to Carr, a freshman, following that shot up and you think he might make it relax a little bit. Carr able to hit the free throw. I, I mean, it would be just normal to think, well, Stinson's going to make a layup. He always makes a layup. <laughs> Iowa State with a chance to equal their biggest lead of the game. And look at that, 14 steals tonight by Iowa State. Carr gets his own rebound. Yeah, what a hustle play by Tashid Carr. Who would think in a six-man rotation your legs would be fresher than the Huskers right now, but it looks that way. Well, it's been, but it's been a slower-paced game. It isn't uh, like the Texas game. Good look by Holman that time. Yeah, that's his little uh, patented jump hook there. Now what you got to do, you're on the road, you got to come down and play these defensive possessions really tough. DeRusso. Whistle and a foul. This one is on Holman, and that's foul number four on Holman. 3.57 remaining. Can Iowa State hang on in Nebraska? It's every corn grower's biggest decision. What's the right seed corn for this season? You want the latest technology, proven performance, superior profitability. So what do you do? Well, it really comes down to one simple choice. In a win or lose business like farming, pick win. FS Seed Corn, the start of a winning season. Talk to your FS Crop Specialist today. Back in the 1800s, when my great-great-grandfather, Adolphus, uh, began brewing Budweiser, getting a nice cold beer in the West wasn't even possible, so he came up with an idea. Refrigerated railroad cars and ice houses along the railroad in order to get Budweiser across the country in the freshest possible condition. That sure made a lot of cowboys happy back then. Today, we take the same pride in bringing our customers not only the very best tasting beer, but the freshest beer possible. With Option Herbicide, it's not just about what's going on out here. It's also about what's going on in here. Because with its exclusive Safener technology, Option helps your corn metabolize herbicide faster and easier, delivering outstanding grass control with enhanced crop safety, leaving you nothing but clean fields on the outside and corn that's growing strong on the inside. Option with exclusive Safener technology. It's grass control with damage control. Recently, I went through a major hair trauma. My stylist of 10 years eloped to Tahiti. So I tried Great Clips, and I was thrilled. The stylists are friendly, professional. They know all the latest styles. Just tell us what you want. Great Clips even has all my favorite products. And with their low prices, I feel a lot less guilty about my shoe fetish. Great Clips, great haircuts, every time, everywhere. Is it a foul or isn't it? It's a big call anyway against Iowa State. Holman picks up his fourth. This thing is a tough game. Watch it go up now. I thought it was not a foul on Holman. He reaches in, he goes up. When we looked at it, Dave, I'm looking up high. Dave thought maybe he got him on the uh, shoulder coming down. But if it was, it was kind of a ticky tack on the shoulder. I think once he made the block, that was clean. But yeah. I think I thought he got prior. him with the arm yeah. just prior to that. And that's what the official, I think, that's what the official saw. And that's why this game is so tough. <laughs> that's the call. Really, yeah. I mean, we watched it six yeah. times during that timeout in, in slow motion from a couple of different angles, and it's tough. DeRusso. It's some foul shots. Yeah, it really is. is. All right, here's the foul trouble, and the big one there is Holman, obviously, with four. Wilkinson has four, and he's been sitting for a long time for Nebraska, and he's still sitting. 
McCray and Muehlheisen with three each. With just under four minutes to go in the ball game. Small lineup now on the floor for Iowa State. The guys are going to really have to block out and uh, on the boards. First points for Nebraska over three minutes. Four point advantage, Iowa State. How long do you have Holman sit over there on the sidelines with his four fouls? As long as you keep a lead, you have a lot of I was going to say, I was looking at whether you go right to the side or. How many fouls is that on Muehlheisen? It is, and for Muehlheisen now, he picks up his fourth. But Wayne Morgan is hoping right now that he can bide some time and get by and hold his four-point lead, or now they got a chance to extend it a little bit. But if they hit two quick baskets, uh, and Ty Dick came up, uh, Holman's going to be back in. Iowa State needs to shoot free throws the way they did in overtime against Texas, where they hit eight of nine. Okay, Holman checking back in now. He's not going to waste any time in getting him back. Muehlheisen's going to stay in with four. Stinson makes it a half dozen lead. Half dozen point lead with 3.37 remaining. It's amazing. You've, with the Cyclones went 28 games without a road conference win until last Saturday. They have a good chance to pick up their second straight. There's that pass into the middle again. They're trying to go into that middle, and they got three ways to go. Good job by Carr stepping into the passing lane. And another steal by the Cyclones. That's their 15. 15 steals in one game. Trying to pull Stenson. And the double team came just a hair late. DeRusso got him on the arm, and Stinson will be going back to the line. I like this play, Gary. Go, go to your money, guys. Stinson. Stinson has come up big oh, after knows. Nebraska went ahead there a couple three points, and boy, he came right back. Took the game, took the game over himself. And we talked about it. you can see when they responded. We talked about him, Nebraska getting a little momentum. Boy, he just came right back down, and he was going to nail one himself, and he did. And you see what they did against Texas got that huge monkey off their back and I think the confidence they gained from that Gary is carrying over to tonight. Uh, he, he took the words right out of my, my mouth Dave I was going to say now you're in a situation they've been there before they handled it once in that Texas game and they're not fighting that monkey on their back of that losing streak so that should be a plus for them right now in this last three minutes. And the Texas team they beat even though they're playing without P.J. Tucker and Marcus Aldridge still they were ranked 16th at the time. It's only the sixth win in Iowa State history against a ranked opponent on the road. So that had to give them a boost of confidence. And Stinson will get the bonus. So Stinson, who was only four of eight from the line when it came to his Muehleisen, picks up his fifth foul there. I thought the foul was on DeRusso, but that's a bigger break for Iowa State that it was on Muehleisen, their captain. When it comes down to the stretch, Stinson, and maybe I spoke too soon, was able to hit those free throws, but he hit three of his last four from the line and a seven-point advantage again for Iowa State. Iowa State. They're in the man for man. Neil. And Stinson's got it. Oh, is he a smart player? All right. Good job of pulling it out. Seven point lead, you got two and a half minutes to play. Oh, lazy pass. DeRusso, Stinson bailed him out. Bailed out Blaylock. What a block. Wilkinson. A block by Holman. I think he called it down underneath on uh, Staple. He did, he did. Holman went running the other way it was his fifth and the team's going over saying come on back Jared you're not going it's on staple and right now Kerry Sitton is talking to Jared Holman and Holman saying no I ran out of the picture to get out of the out of the fray I didn't want to say anything so a timeout taken by Iowa State and how about Curtis Stinson coming through when Iowa State needed him most? 
mistake to come down here. This is early week two, and he took the game over. He said he'd come right back and going to force it up and not force the shot up, but force the play for himself and get it. And another one of those quick shots where he gets it up where the big man can get up. Comes down, stops and pops right here for the easy two. And man, what a second half he's got. And nothing bigger than that getting in the passing lane and that interception after the ball was taken away on the steal on Blaylock's pass. Look at his leadership in the hustle and the huddle right now as we're going to make him our Liberty player of the game. 21 points, four assists, five steals. He also has five rebounds in the game. And Gary, right now, I thought the last time when Holman had his shot blocked, I would have liked to have seen Iowa State pull the ball back out, use clock right now. Yes, I agree with you. Uh, because it's one of those that you're going at a guy. If you got the break wide open coming in there. But... And John Turek, only a 55% free throw shooter, able to hit that one. So he comes through in a big way. Here comes the pressure. Now they can look to score. Stable didn't get it though. job of keeping their hands. I couldn't see whether Homer got a piece of that. And then watch Stinson just tear it away from him right there. Bench presses, bench presses uh, I think, more than anybody else on this team. 315, yeah. I believe. Right. That's a lot of weight. He is strong. He's a tough matchup for a lot of teams. Corey Sims takes a break. And now Stinson. Free throws are huge right now for the Cyclones. That one wasn't pretty, but it rattled home. The thing I love about Stinson, and always have ever since he walked on campus, he's just a winner. He just knows how to play. And when it comes to crunch time, I'd rather see him with the ball than anybody else. And he's just tough, you know? I like what Iowa State's doing down here with the clock. You got a seven point lead. The press has been a big part of the game, but you don't want to let them beat the press and get easy buckets real quick. Now they're making a play and use time off the clock. Yeah, hits it. He does, and a timeout taken by Barry Collier. So Joe McCray, who's coming off that awful game against Kansas, where he sat most of the second half tonight, he comes back with 21 points. It's the sixth time this year that talented freshman has scored more than 20 in a game. And Dave, in this stretch right there with, with McCray, you want to be thinking uh, they had, a, what, a seven-point lead. You don't want to give them easy twos at this point. You've got too much time, but you don't want to give them the threes again. You really want to defend hard on that three yes. because then you've got to have three twos and another possession to catch up. So that three point all of a sudden gets you down now to two possessions. I like Rashawn Clark in this situation. I'm the front man on a zone where he can really create a lot of havoc out there. It's tough to throw over. He really is. Rick, he gets a lot of times get in the passing lane and make a steal. And now it's Carr still in there. And you see uh, each team has two timeouts remaining, both for all intents and purposes now in the double foul situation. If there's a tie-up, and that's key, it goes to Iowa State. And you want to be thinking right now uh, about if they get the ball in bounds, but if you get the clock or the count running down to four, you've got to use a timeout, save possession. is right now if you're an Iowa State player and the pressure's on you want to go meet the basketball don't stand and wait for any pass go meet it. you see the time remaining on the shot clock Cyclones trying to bite off as much of that clock as they can and then get it to Stinson for the teardrop and he is fouled that's a perfect strategy that's exactly the way I'd do it just let it go down to 10 and give it to Stinson clear out 10 team foul Nice job of running the clock that time. Ending up still getting a good play and a good shot, good penetration. Stinson 
Robinson with his eighth free throw of the night. He is eight of 13. Sims comes over. They'll trade offense and defense now, Nebraska. Stinson calmly hits another. He has nine of 14 from the line. He has 25 points tonight. a foul you do not want at this particular time. Does McCray draw this in? I mean, it's the third time it's happened in this game. Is he just really good at extending his body and drawing the contact? Let's watch. It looks like Staple reaches back, goes through there. Let's watch now. They come off the pick. And he gets his hands in there. See, and that's the time you do not want to be trying to steal. This is a great team for making steals, but you've got to know time and score. McCray with his 22nd point of the night. Make it 23. And here comes Rashawn Clark. The next free throw by McCray can make it a one possession game. He does. A three point contest. The 24 by McCray tonight ties a career high. They're thinking about using the timeout if you need. They got three on one. They're trying to foul Blaylock. They can't catch him. <laughs> and they don't want to foul Stinson. Clark, they will foul him. So Rashawn Clark, 64% free throw shooter, hasn't shot one tonight. You want Clark to hit at least one of the two. I mean, you'd love them both, but if he can hit one of two, he makes it a two-possession game again. And Nebraska will try to freeze him at the line. Tonight from the Big 12, this is a men's game. Colorado, the early lead on Texas. That one just starting in Boulder. And, of course, the Longhorns losing three of their last four since they lost P.J. Tucker. And LaMarcus Aldridge, tough blow to lose maybe their two best players. Daniel Gibson would probably argue with that, but Tucker was certainly their go-to guy. Coming up next on the Cyclone Television Network, Iowa State, of course, playing Texas Tech on Saturday. That's on the ESPN Plus Regional Network on Saturday afternoon. The next game here on the Cyclone Television Network will be February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day, when Kansas State We'll come to Ames. Cyclones looking to, I don't know if you say revenge, but looking to uh, yeah. get even with Kansas State. Let's say that after they lost earlier in Manhattan. You could say revenge. Yeah, that's okay. Well, Wayne Morgan right now on this timeout, the freeze of the shooter, but he also gets a chance now to save a timeout and set his what he wants to do on defense, depending on whether he makes the free throw, uh, one free throw or two free throws or whatever. Nebraska only has that one timeout remaining. And the three-point advantage, Clark going to the line to shoot two. With Gary Thompson, I'm Dave Armstrong. Glad to have you here at the Devaney Center in Lincoln, Nebraska, where Iowa State trying to go to four and five in the conference with their fourth straight Big 12 win and 12 and eight overall. Nebraska, a team that has lost five of six in conference play after starting off two and oh in the Big 12. Nebraska, also at three and five, they're trying to avoid going to three and six. Oh, that was cool. Chris John Clark, no problem. Nice clutch free throw for a freshman on the road, and you got Damian Staple uh, sitting over there ready to come in if he hits this free throw. Put a bigger guy in there for defense and rebounding. He does hit the free throw. Also stops Nebraska from kicking it in quick and getting it down, so a lot of good things with that substitution. A little more rebounding. You still have plenty of quickness with Carr, Blaylock, and Stinson. Nebraska, they need a three. Good job there by Blaylock, just staying in, in front. Keep 
in front of him. And Trey a little farther out that time. Stinson, he comes up with it and calls a timeout. Oh, is he something? Oh, man, is he something? Well, he feels the look at it. He's got that little <laughs> lip in there. A heady, heady player. That's all I can say about that guy. He knows the game. He's, he's a guy that usually knows time and score. Well, he's like he's like old school. I, I yes. remember years ago when Larry Bird had an opportunity with Boston when he was with the Celtics. He was counting down the clock while the play was in action. He knew how much time was on the clock by counting it in his head. He wasn't watching the clock. And Stinson is kind of reminds me of that. He just knows. All right, look, if I get this rebound, I'm going to call a timeout rather than throw the ball.